Revenge. It's a thing in storytelling that has existed since the dawn of storytelling itself. It is nothing new. There are many stories in media where a character seeks vengeance for either his, herself, or for someone they knew. It's also nothing new when someone tries to come along and write their own version of a revenge narrative and try to subvert it in a way, having the underlying message that revenge is pointless or that it will cause more damage over time. A repeated cycle, an endless loop of death and destruction. Something that, in the end, absorbs everything. There are stories that do this well, and stories that do this poorly. I'm pretty sure you guys have a few ideas of which is which. But here is something that I think is one of the better ones. This is Extremity. Extremity is a 12-issue graphic novel, published by Image Comics and created by Daniel Warren Johnson. From the get-go, the series sets itself apart from its contemporaries by setting itself in a nice blend of a feudalistic, tribalistic society with a sci-fi edge to it. Now, if you have read many stories, comics, manga, etc., this is not the most original concept out there. If you've read or watched Nausicaa the Valley of the Wind, you can see some similarities. But there is a different flavor to Extremity's world as you see throughout the narrative. Here you can see how massive the world can be sometimes as the story unfolds in front of you. As you continue to read, you do get a strong sense that this world has history, not only through the various tribes, vehicles, and traditions you see, but another example being the character Shiloh, a robot who's designed to fight wars, one of hundreds in fact but are very rare at the time the series takes place, and seeing one in person is a sight to behold since they're mostly legends. There are many points in the story where you feel this world is much bigger than it is letting on, that what we're seeing is just scratching the surface in a way, that the story we're witnessing is rather one of many, not just regarding the characters we are focusing on, but things like the origins of the tribes, the technology, the mechanical warriors, and so on and so forth. Similar to a great sci-fi or fantasy series, you'll feel that this world is ripe to be explored, and Extremity does lend itself to a franchise pretty easily when you think about it. It's just really sad that the only narrative in this world is the one presented to us. But regardless of that, it does not make Extremity itself any less well written or impactful. The artwork is also really well done. I know some have said it's a little wonky at times, and I kind of see what they mean. There are some panels here and there that seem a little off, but when you get used to the style, I think it fits. Extremity is a story that has several dark scenes as it does elevating scenes, and to me personally, I believe the style fits for both of them. But not only that, but also showing the grand scale of the world itself. Splash pages will be used to show how massive battles can be, how large a creature is when it charges into an enemy line, or even ships littering the sky above it. Just showing the epic scale of the story as it unfolds in front of you. It's all fantastic and all well done. But now, with this all out of the way, let's talk about the narrative and why I recommend this story to you. Beside me, my shadow grows. Beside me, slow Thea was regarded the best artist in her clan when she was just a child. Her love of drawing the world around her was only outmatched by the love of her family. Her father, the chieftain Jerome, and her mother shared a bond like no other. But all of that was taken away in a blink of an eye. Theo lost her home, her mother, and her ability to do the things she loved in mere moments. Now it's years later. Thea, her brother, and her father seek revenge against the clan and those responsible for the loss of their home and for the one they loved. But as this narrative continues, it is clear it is not a story of revenge but rather one of self-reflection. One that our characters seem to realize that maybe they are doing nothing but partake in a slow cycle of hatred. That what they're doing is essentially pointless. Does Thea and the others break this cycle? Well. Read the series to find out. What I will say, however, is that Extremity is a well-done, well-written, well-paced story and one of the best revenge narratives I can recommend. In it, you can see people do terrible things for the people they claim to love. 
so much so they become unrecognizable near the end of the series. Especially in regards to Jerome, Thea's father, you see the man turn into a literal monster throughout the series, and one that his two children won't even recognize. But again, I won't spoil it. But what I will say is that his, as well as other journeys throughout the story, are all well done. Now this sadly is the part where I talk about my grievances with Extremity. Let me reiterate that Extremity is still a well paced narrative that uses the 12 issues it was given to its full potential. What I will say here it should have been given 13 issues and I will explain why. Now when you get to issue 12 the story does conclude but the ending is very apparently rushed due to its constraint at 12 issues only be able to wrap up the epilogue only a few pages and panels. Which is a damn shame because of up to that point, the comic's pacing was pretty much superb. Now, the ending is not bad by any means, it gets the point across. It's just not as fleshed out as it could have been, which is really sad. But other than that, regardless, Extremity is a series that I highly recommend you guys go out and read, even buy. I have both trades myself and a few issues, that's how much I love this series. If you love a good revenge story and one that does revenge bad, but in a good way, pick this one up. If you have read Extremity already and you have your thoughts on it, feel free to let me know in the comments or even in a Discord. Got any recommendations for me to check out, get my thoughts on, please send them to me. On that note, I hope you guys have a good one. Stay chill, Wanderers.